Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to The Soapbox, the show that was inevitably dumped after about 7 episodes because I quickly realised I really don't rate what I need to say. But ultimately today I decided it was a good time to upload another episode of The Soapbox because I feel like with the oncoming year 2023, with a recent re-emergence of me streaming and the content I've been doing at Easily Entertained, I feel like it was an important time to essentially tie them all together and essentially establish what is going on, what I plan on having going on, and what is supposed to happen in the future. I'm Ash, don't really use the Aqua Dreams name anymore, but it's still a fun little nickname, so we'll take it anyways. So on today's episode of The Soapbox, we will essentially be discussing my recent return to streaming, the existence of Easily Entertained, and how it helped me battle with a fucking intense bout of depression, and my plans for 2023. Now if you'll indulge me, allow me to play some video game music and talk your ear off for about 10 minutes. Thank you. Now on to the first topic. So recently I did re-emerge into streaming, the where I've made my real impact and the time I've spent the bulk of my online presence or at least like public facing. I initially started streaming in 2018 and have been on and off since then. I was fairly consistent the first year and a half till about 2020 and that's where the wheels really fell off. And ever since then I've usually been saying oh, I'll come back, I'll be back soon, I'll be back. But usually it never really sticks. Now usually this is the case but in mid-Decemberish time I sent you went hey you should stream and I went yeah I should and that was quite fun. And then about a week later or so, I decided I should stream again. And then I went, I should stream again. I should stream again. And so from what, the 12th onwards, I've streamed about 30 to 35 hours of Simpsons in that time span, which to me is fucking nuts considering my previous streaming output was absolutely minimal. I suppose there are two factors which made this possible. I mean, one, it was the fact that I gave myself a lot more time and freedom to so essentially I felt a lot more comfortable just existing and allowing myself to have things happen naturally and not try rush anything not try prompt anything essentially just happily sit there and if people talk to me that's fine but if not I can focus on the speedrunning aspect which I have been enjoying again so I suppose take those two factors together I've been enjoying the streaming process and if I haven't really been having a banging stream. I'm still fundamentally enjoying speedrunning Simpsons, and it's probably the most motivated I've been to play the game in years. So you take the actual enjoyment factor of the streams and the enjoyment factor of the speedrun, ultimately it lends itself to a very uh, depressurized, very stress-free, happy-to-be-there type feeling, which ultimately I think my streams have lacked for a very very long time. I suppose the main, I mean, two things to carry on with further. Thank you for supporting me after all this time. Uh, nobody has any real reason to still stick around. You do regardless, so I do appreciate that wholeheartedly. I don't know why you dickheads stick around, but it is super nice and super generous of you to, al to at least allow me a bit of your time even if I've wasted a lot of yours over the years. And secondly, the angle of do I intend to stick around? I'd like to believe so. Those two factors allow me to believe that I will continue streaming because I'm having a sincere amount of fun. I'm not... There's no preconceived notions in my head of how these streams are going to go. I'm just allowing myself to feel them out and allowing them to exist and ultimately if i showed me two years ago that i was happily streaming for four hours five hours at a time it would have had a fucking meltdown i'll tell you that much now i'll suggest that maybe there's a slight difference this time is that because it was over the christmas break i was a lot more refreshed and had a lot more free time than i usually do and ultimately i am obviously heading back to leather work soon and ultimately, I'm also doing a lot of work over on Easily Entertained, the sister channel to this channel, where myself and Slater are essentially reviewing and doing like video essays, 
slash and also like movie night type things uh currently right now mostly horror movies but honestly just whatever we want because we believe we should be able to, to make whatever we want no matter what um but fundamentally it's been horror movies that we have essentially done these big long form reviews for making jokes and trying to keep it as entertaining as possible um i suppose the main highlight has been the terrifier video which is a movie where you find art the clown who i believe is the best slasher villain at least my favorite slasher villain and he's recently rose into prominence again with a factor of terrifier 2 which did stupidly well i'm super happy that it happened so essentially if you like me and you like slater and you like our joking style and reviewing horror movies slash whatever we feel like easily entertained is for you maybe it's time to give a bit of background information as to how easily entertained started around october time i was feeling a bit low and i was really kind of struggling to stay above the water as such in my depression battle and i kind of went i need something to work on I'd obviously had all the ideas of the shit I was going to do, like earlier in the year I was going to be a CSGO commentator. Um, partway through the year I was going to make an EastEnders based channel where I was going to make soap based content. But around October time, I thought about this concept of 10 to 15 minute video of me essentially saying why something is good and not really tarring it with the whole like m political type, like social... Um, kind of angles to it because a lot of the media that has been released this year especially from the big corporations like disney have been very outrage bait and kind of they've always held such a negative stigma behind it because fundamentally a lot of these products have been made just to offend someone and in turn watch it like how most people have been complaining about rings of power and etc etc i decided that i didn't like that kind of message and i wanted it to essentially be this is why something is good this is why i enjoyed it and fundamentally it was going to be i had fun here's why but ultimately i tried to record this by myself um and slightly quickly went yeah it didn't really work out did it and i'm like no it did really did not um so together we recorded a review of terrifier as i said the film that introduces us well in the main sense to art clown and I also went to see Halloween Ends a couple days afterwards, which was a fucking hot steam pile of garbage. And I was really upset that I saw it in the cinema because I was genuinely sat in my chair just like... Just, oh, I, was, I was restless. I was restless at the shit they tried to pull. Um, and that, as a whole, led to us making 12 videos since October on the channel. And I think they're all very good and very enjoyable. Maybe, I mean, it's the only other form of content that I've been able to make other than streaming where I've actually felt like I've been able to give my genuine, uh, like, opinion and output in a way that I feel is entertaining because otherwise it's always been so difficult to do that because usually it's just me sitting by myself behind the microphone. And unless you're some form of comedic genius, that's always going to be difficult. It's always easier to joke when there's someone else in the room. So I guess the TLDR of this is if you like me, Aura and Slater, go to Easy Entertained and if not, at least give it a try, see if it's your cup of tea. If not, oh well, there's still the streams for you. And I suppose this leads into the other final aspect of my vague plans for 2023. Because in, because in the wake of the new year, people make resolutions. I don't make resolutions because I never really follow them. I simply aim to, I would like to believe that I will continue streaming into 2023 and I hope that it I hope that it goes far I hope that I keep doing it and I hope it goes fun and I hope I have a lot of fun time I also would like to keep fundamentally working on a shit ton of easily entertained content because I truly believe and I am determined that it will be a success because ultimately it helped me out a lot this year and I really want to do it as much justice as possible but admittedly i am back to work very soon and among working like with leather and doing easy entertained and trying to stream on the side that's a lot of time and effort and a lot of draining stuff going on 
So it's obviously hard to predict how often I will be able to do said things. However, all of them are on the agenda, and I'd like to believe that I will do my best to at least try have a fairly consistent output of all of the above. Whilst I don't exactly have like the structure in place yet. However, that should be all I am discussing on today's episode of the Soapbox. Thought it would be a good idea to just wrap everything up, tie it up with a nice little, with a nice little bow, and essentially establish this is everything I aim to do for the next year. And hopefully you have a bit more information if you have uh, sought this video out. And I hope it explains things for you. Yes, I do intend to keep streaming. Yes, I do intend to keep doing easily entertained. But the main caveat is will there be enough time? And that's always an issue because, you know, fuck me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for listening to me for however long this ends up being. I've been Ash. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join me the next time I do a video, a stream, or just exist in my Discord. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.